bill and emergency clause have passed. Tax cuts in the form of two bills passing in both chambers Tuesday, advancing one step further through the legislature. The two goals of Republicans and Governor Sarah Sanders are to cut personal income taxes by nearly $500 million for people making more than $25,000 a year and to cut property taxes by $50 million. Despite both passing with pretty overwhelming support, Democrats and some Arkansans aren't happy. Arkansas has the highest mortality, uh, maternal mortality rate in the nation, the second highest teen pregnancy, and we're third highest in infant mortality. We still have years-long delays for services for those with disabilities. For legislative session after legislative session, we have warned about the harmful impacts of repeated rounds of income tax cuts and what they do to our ability to improve the quality of life for people in Arkansas. Representative Denise Garner spoke out on the House floor against the tax cuts, saying they undercut critical services for Arkansans. The CEO of Arkansas Support Network also spoke out after the House adjourned, also pointing to the critical needs in Arkansas that they fear will miss out on necessary funding. Bottom line is this, we're not cutting anything in state government. In fact, budget increased 1.76 percent. Um, that means no programming got cut. According to the Department of Finance, here's what the personal income tax cuts mean for us as the average Arkansas taxpayers. $200 in savings for an Arkansan making $50,000 a year. More than $400 in savings for an Arkansan making $80,000 a year, and so on. One could argue that we have more than enough money. That's why we're seeing surpluses, um, and that's why we're able to take those surpluses and return them back to taxpayers and to the to people of Arkansas. The other main focus of the session is funding the Game and Fish Commission. Lawmakers have continued to advance a bill that will give the AGF director a salary of $170,000 a year.